motivated, I'm the truth Going hard in the booth, all my dreams is coming true If I can make it, you can too Wasn't in a skipping school, had to play by the rules If you got dreams, don't be a fool The process make it even cool Gotta really pay attention And right there is tunnel vision Can't be falling, can't be slipping This world full of competition Alright everybody, welcome to another episode of Expansion Team First and foremost, everything starts with the Earning Night Soul podcast. Please like, rate, review, share, um, subscribe. Um, thank y'all for all the love and support we've been getting. Um, the Patreon is up and active now. So all y'all that want to um, support on Patreon, I mean, I got my own, um, you know, little side podcast that I'm doing. You know what I mean? Where I might, might, might talk about different, I might talk about a bunch of different other stuff, man. I got some ideas, man, that um, I'm about to implement. I'm about to implement being able to, um, having a call-in show. I'm going to have my call-in show so I can talk to people and all that, get the feedback from y'all. Like I said, on these other sites, they kind of shut me down. You know what I mean? Where I can't, I can't really interact with y'all how I want to interact with y'all. So what I decided to do is I'm going to do, I'm going to do a call-in show. You know what I mean? I'm going to let y'all know you know what I mean? What day I record the call in show because you know you can't you can't I don't think I don't think you can't go live on Patreon or whatever, but you know, we're gonna do a call in show and let you know the people that I mean the time that I'm gonna record. So the people that wanna call in and talk, you know what I mean, back and forth dialogue about whatever. Um so I could just, you know what I mean, kinda like get more like in tune with y'all. Like I said, they kinda shut that down, shut us down on social media to where it's, we can't see comments and none of that. So it's really hard for us to go back and forth with y'all, you know what I mean, get the feedback and just, you know what I mean, talk to y'all. So I decided that that's what I'm going to do. On the side, I'm going to have my own, you know, you know little uh, call-in show or whatever. But that's going to be on the Patreon. Um, what else I have to say, man? Um, shout out to everybody who helped, you out, who, who helps us out with this podcast. Um, of course, you know what I mean? My, part, my partner, Ern. Um, Ebony. Um, Nikki, um, my brother LB and now, now I mean, I got, got my other bro back woods on the line, man. How you doing? So oh, I'm all right. Everything's good, man. Just, uh, want to say congratulations to you and Ern. I know y'all been doing big things, so let's keep up the hard work and, um, everything will come to fruition. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, man, we getting there now. We getting everything. Now we getting everything together, man. Um, things been going real, real, real good for us. Now I mean, we everything is steady right now, and so I'm just, I'm just happy that the people really, 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 really do rock with us, man. And um, they really rock with this, man. Now we do expansion team. Like I said, we trying to expand the expansion team. Now I mean, somewhat. Now I mean, this season so we can grow. Now I mean, get bigger and better with this. Know what I mean, like I said, um, right now we not like for 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 y'all who be saying we don't do a lot, we don't we don't we don't do enough episodes or we don't do like enough, I guess like you know how like some people follow around and you know record video and all that stuff like that. I'm gonna try to see if we can get to mm-hmm. some of that doing doing some of that stuff every now and again during football season. But like I said, y'all gotta understand, man. We 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 still doing we don't do this full time. Know what I mean, all of us kind of do this on the side. Know what I mean, it just kind of like turned into something to where it is is it's, it's getting is it got it started expanding and getting bigger and bigger, but know what I mean, everybody that that like helps us, know what I mean, us, me, earn, know what I mean, everybody that helps us, they still got other stuff in life going on. You know what I mean? This this mm-hmm. it's really like a side thing that kind of like it kind of like blew up. You know what I'm saying? It kind of like it kind of like blew up for us. So we trying to we trying to catch up now. So. That's why we don't we don't have we not full time content creators, so that's why some of y'all be like, yo, how come y'all don't be doing enough episodes? And then you know you and your bro don't be doing enough, and then y'all don't be taking, y'all don't be like having video footage and all that. Yo, we still remember this. We're we're not full time content creators. We is for all full time content creators. We would have the time to do all that for y'all. We just you know what I mean we don't really got the time to do all that right now. now I mean, we 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 kind we kind of like got to build up to it towards that. I mean, what are we doing? I mean, we gonna get there though. Like I said, I got some ideas for expansion team. Um, um, this football season, we gonna see if we can get that stuff done so we can get y'all like, um, 
more content from us. Now, I mean, I know y'all want uh, more more content from Woods because now, I mean, yeah, they for for real, for real. Now, I mean, bottom line is they want you to help them bet on like everything: college football, college <laughs> basketball. Now, I mean, whatever you, whatever you trying to, you can help them out with. Now, I mean, that's what they want for real, for real. That's what they want. So wow, we, I understand. I understand. Get the itch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 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 I understand. I mean, so we gonna see what we can do. We can um take it from um just NFL football and see what we can expand on. Like I said, y'all gotta understand, we are not full time content creators. So, now I mean, we we don't we don't have we don't have all day every day to just dedicate to this. If we would, we would probably be we'll be hitting y'all with stuff like every single day if we did. Now I mean, so. Now, I mean, we inching up to that. Now, I mean, we working up to that. So, like I said, we're going to try to do some more, some more of this football season. Now, I mean, we're going to see if we can get y'all some, now, now, I mean, start betting on different sports and stuff like that. Even I started taking, like, his stuff, like, a little bit more seriously, trying to learn about the gambling and all that so I can keep up. Now, I mean, not not to say necessarily <laughs> I'm going to be gambling all over the place and stuff like that, but, you know what I mean, um, doing it with you last football season just got me a lot more knowledge about it, and that way, to whereas um, I just got a little bit more insight and I can help the people out a little bit more. You know what I mean? Try to learn about uh-huh. different stuff like point spread and all this, you know I mean? That type of stuff, but not just football, other sports too. So that way, you know what I mean? We can grow with that because that's what they be asking, man. They, they be like, yo, yo, he don't bet on nothing else. You know what I'm saying? He don't do nothing else. I'm like, yeah, you got to understand though. We got lives outside of this. This is just really just a side thing for us. It's like a hobby that's fun to do, but... We're we're not full time content creators, man. But um, know what I mean, long mm-hmm. dog. Know what I mean, ride with us. Know what I'm saying, and we gonna get there. Know what I mean, we gonna get there. We gonna. I'm trying to not. Know what I mean, I got some. I got. I got. I got some things I'm trying to execute. Know what I'm saying, this this uh football season, so we can do a little bit more, get y'all a little bit more content from us. But um, anyway, man. Um, just just want to tap back in with you and um. You know, the people been asking, like I said, they said we don't we don't record enough. Like I said, now I mean football season gonna be here before you know it, but um what I do want to talk to you about is there's a couple of things off the top of my head, the whole WNBA thing. I know I know that off the top of my head. One of the other things I forgot that I wanted to ask you about, but the whole we're gonna start with the WNBA because that's that's the thing that been on my mind the, the the last few days. The whole all right, okay. They're saying that even even with all the popularity and all that right now that they having and all the hype that they're having and all that, the positive, not, not I mean energy and then some of their games like, you know, Caitlin Clark entering the league is like mm-hmm. the fanfare that she gets. Cause I think they said like one of the teams she played had to like move their game from their arena to the guys' arena and that joint sold out and like the men's arena. Yeah, Washington. I yeah. think it was Washington. Yeah, yeah. So, but they saying even with that, that some some people are reporting that they're going to still lose like fifty million dollars. They're not going to like make still. They're still not going to make actual profit or something like that. They're losing fifty million dollars this season. They're estimated to like like even with that. Yeah. Like even with that, they still can't like cover like they're going to be in a deficit because like operate, operating costs, you know, payroll, and I guess all of that. That they're, they're still estimated to lose fifty million dollars, even with the fanfare that she has. Even though ticket sales going up, jersey sales going up, and like more mm-hmm. people want to watch the games, they're still going to be in a deficit. So I just wanted to ask you, how do you feel about the whole? Because some people feel like they're, some people like seem like they upset with Caitlyn Clark that that, that 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 she's getting the spotlight. I feel like it's a good business move. And some people just want to say, well, basketball wise, she's not the best player, but that's where the whole sport and entertainment come in. Cause the entertainment is part of entertainment is business. So I understand business wise, why they're trying to, I mean, they gotta, they gotta strike while the iron's hot. And if she the hot hand right now, you gotta use that. I feel like you have to use that to, for your, for your betterment, for real, for real, you know what I mean? If everybody wants to pay to watch her and everybody wants to buy a jersey and come to a game because she's playing, mm-hmm. I feel like you need to just ride that wave. 
You know what I mean? Okay. Because some people mm-hmm. feel like, well, it's a lot of great players in the WNBA. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. But that is basketball wise. Entertainment wise, she is the hot hand right now. She's the person that everybody cares about. And I'm not even going to just say basketball, all the sports right now. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? She's getting more. It's more people talking about the WNBA. We just had the WNBA. We just had the NBA Finals. It's more people that care about what's going on with Caitlin Clark and the WNBA than cared about the NBA Finals. Now, you know what right. I'm saying? So, business wise, I understand what they're trying to do. Dude, they trying to get about the hole. They trying to see if they could turn this thing around and turn a profit. You know what I mean? It don't matter. Mm-hmm. It don't matter very. I mean, how 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 good everybody is if don't know if don't nobody if y'all growth was like if the, they, y'all had growth but it was minimal. You know what I'm saying? So she kind of like upped it like leaps and bounds, attendance and all this and that. And then y'all don't know how long this is gonna last. Like I said, to me, I need to just ride the wave. Y'all know how long this is going to last because who's to say that they going to care next season? They may not. They, they, they may go back to saying, well, you know, the whole Caitlin Clark mini is over. She may just be another mm-hmm. decent player in the, in the WNBA. You know, you, you know what I mean? Because I feel like yeah. college, I feel like women's college basketball, people, more people care about women's college basketball than WNBA basketball in this country. So, <clears throat> so what's gonna happen when? Is everybody saying that? Um, what's her name? Juju Watkins. That yeah, she gonna be next up. So she gonna be probably the the most popular person in women basketball, and she in college, not even in the WNBA. So, so what happens if the way the way things is looking, where she's gonna be the main attraction in women's basketball? It may not even be Clayton Clark no more. It might be Juju, and Juju's in college. So, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? So, the people that's mad about that, y'all really going to be right back at square one anyway if, to me, if people stop caring about Clayton Clark the way that they care about her right now. And it go, the, the focus goes right back to college basketball. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yo, how you feel about yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah, Well, I mean, uh, as far as that whole they losing money uh, situation, I mean, I'm not no businessman, so I really don't understand how that works. So, really, don't give me give me the line on that. But I did read somewhere where they said the NBA was losing money, like in the '80s. Like it kind of took a while for them to get started. So, you know, the '80s had that Magic, Larry Bird. You know, that kind of helped the NBA. You know, take off mm-hmm. that that right, right before Jordan. So even with the Magic and Bird, they were still losing money. Mm-hmm. So I just think it's going to take time for the WNBA to start making money. Um, they already talk about like adding the special teams, like a team in Toronto or Canada or something like that. Um, they already like plotting on expand, expanding. So they're going to make money, man. So I won't worry about that. But as far as you know, uh, you talking about the last thing, you talking about the college uh, being more popular. Um, it, it might be, but I don't see them button heads. Uh, college is, you know, during the fall and early spring, and then WNBA is for the summertime. So I mean, all that popularity that the college has, I mean. Even if it is gonna be more popular, WNBA is still gonna have its time to shine and all that. And I don't see these Kate and Clark fans. I don't see them going anywhere, man. I mean, they really, really just ride out for her, man. The ones that love her, mm-hmm. she can do no wrong. And I really don't see them going anywhere because she really has captivated, you know, this nation. And um, a lot of people was rooting for her. Um, just want to see her succeed, and I mean, I'm, I would like to see her succeed. Um, uh, she's out of a player, but as far as what these other WNBA players, I understand where they're coming from. They they want her to earn um her spot, even though 
she's definitely changing the game for them and going to put more money into the league. But as a competitor, I mean, they just like, ah, oh, shit, man. I mean, this woman, she ain't even score a point yet, and everybody's uh, like all on the, you know, I mean, all on the top, you know, just all over. Her. So they want her to prove it. So I understand why, like, the OGs in the league is, you know, kind of rough for her. Now, what I don't like, Matt Burns alluded to this. With all that, like, flowers and stuff that's happening to her, you know, people was pushing on the ground and, you know, just kind of like, I don't want to say over-the-top flowers, you know, like, really flagrant flowers, but it was, like, borderline, you know, rough, rough flowers. Her teammates didn't come to her back. Like, it felt like her teammates was kind of jealous of her, too. Like, if you go up there and knock her down on that, like, you supposed to have a force, you supposed to have a goon, Supposed to have her back and stand up for us. Nobody was standing up for her. That's that's what I hated. Mm. And you know, your team is you can't be jealous of her. You know, if you are, you can't let that show on the court. Y'all gotta be together as one. So that really kind of pissed me off. But uh, I mean, the league's gonna be good, man. All this, all this talk about her and Angel Reese. You know that rivalry. That's like a magic, uh, Larry Bird situation right there. All oh, that's good for the league, man. Mm-hmm. I mean, I hate the racist stuff that's on social media. You know, everybody coming at Angel, you know, but out of pocket, you know, remarks and stuff like that. That's that's bad, but I mean, it's just the robbery is good, man. You need a villain sometimes, and um, it seems like Angel reaches that, but she she has her own popularity too, you know. You know, uh, black people, you know, ride her for her. You know, her social media presence is strong as well. And I just really just see this league just, you know, being in good hands, man. With them too, and as you said, Juju Watkins, they got this young chick, uh, Paige. Um, I can't pronounce her last name. Trying to be like Buckner, Buckner's or something. She's from UConn. Oh, Becker. She yeah, was Becker. like the. Yeah, she's a hell of a player. She's gonna come out next year. Um, it's, I mean, I just don't see it stopping, man. WNBA is is really in good hands, man. Yeah, I've been betting on that too. So, man, I'll give y'all one type of play right here. Uh, Connecticut Sun always like been on gun games to go under. You know the total the total points for the game. Just all we bet on Connecticut Sun to go over like nine out of ten that that thing happened, man. That been one of my good bets. Hold on, but, um, hold I've on, been hold enjoying on. it. Been... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Huh? Explain no, so slow down and explain that to them again because you probably got people hyped up with that. You said you bet on the WNBA and explain exactly what it is again that you're trying to tell them. The team total for the game. Don't you know, like a football, you had the total amount of points for the game. Mm-hmm. It's just basically the, the total amount of points for the game. Every time Connecticut Sun play, just bet on the under for the total amount of points um, for the game, whatever it is, you know, whatever they said it said it at. Uh, just bet under because usually that comes through. They are a very good defensive team, and um, that was the first game, first team that Kate McCart played played against this year, and they gave her the business, you know. Um, they're very physical weather. They're just a really good team. I think they only got like one loss this year or two losses. And they just uh all their games just been go under the under the point, not point spread, under the total. So I mean that's just been a favorable bet for me. All right. So so whenever so whenever the Connecticut you said Connecticut Suns, right? Yeah. All right. So all right, so whenever they whenever they play a game. Always to, total points. Always bet under. Yeah. All right. So y'all heard that, people. Now I mean, he just broke that down for y'all. Now I mean, he gave y'all something because he said he been betting on the WNBA. Now you gonna have people saying, "Yo, just just give us a rundown of all the games." You know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> you know what I mean, <laughs> which is like, that's just been one of my main plays. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. You know I mean, he. He said he can't give y'all everything. He gonna give y'all little by little. You know what I mean? So, so that right there's yeah. a play for y'all. So that right there's a play for y'all who be like, yo, man, he, yeah, you know I mean, he got to tell us about something else, all the other stuff that he bet on. You know what I mean? So that right there. So we, like I said, man, um, 
we're going to try to get into it to where as we can start betting on basketball too. Like I said, basketball is a nightly thing. So, you know what I mean? We got to be able to get the, we got to be able to get the bets in there and out of there. I mean, quickly, you know what I mean? It's not like football where we got, we can record and we got days to, you know, make, you know what I mean? Get the episode together and upload it. And then now you got time. You know what I'm saying? You got time to bet all that for the game because, you know, football is like once a week. You know what I mean? Basketball is like throughout the week every day. So, yeah, so that right there, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, man, um, you know what? One of the things I think that hurts them, the WNBA too, is that is the fact that it is in the summer. You know what I mean? I think, I think, I think that that does hurt them a little bit. Because people mindset in the summer is vacationing, partying, having fun. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like yeah. Like the summer months is the months where, you know, it's hard, it's hard for all around for a lot of for a lot of businesses and everything. Because people are people are just out doing their own thing. People really right. are just out doing their own thing. You know what I mean? And I and I, and I felt like it would if if they did play during a different time of the year, that would help them. You know what I'm saying? Because you got you because you got because you got you got the other sports that, other than baseball. You know what I mean? Baseball is the other summer one, but you see, like they're not. Their 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 stadiums ain't always packed. You know what I mean? But 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 they but they've been around for decades and decades and decades, man. You got baseball being around for, a hundred years. You know what I'm saying? Not me over a hundred years, uh, and them, and them kind of like marketing that they are the boys of summer, you know what I'm saying? So that been a marketing plan mm-hmm. for like decades that that gives you something to do on a summer day, but still, it's not like their stadiums is always packed. You know what I mean? Some teams are. I know, like filled up in Phillies. You know what I'm saying? We represent. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times. You know what I'm saying? We buy a lot too. Good. Now we go to a lot of games. You know what I mean? We 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 mm-hmm. we not the we're not the people that just show up. Okay, they're in the playoffs. That's where we're going to show up. No, we got good. You know what I mean? We Yeah, yeah. We got good attendance like all through the season. You know what I mean? From, from, you know what I mean? From, 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 from what I hear. So we not one of them. Okay, it's the playoffs. Now yeah. everybody's going to go. And now the game going to be sold out. You know what I mean? So yeah. like I said, they had, they got decades and decades of marketing behind that. And they, and it's not like they selling out every game. You know what I mean? Baseball teams ain't selling out every game. You know what I mean? That's why the tickets ain't like, the tickets is so cheap, they got to try to get the tickets away. Because they playing during... Yeah. Now, now I mean, they playing during the time where it's the summertime, people got the mentality that they got the day, they out and about and they doing their own thing. I said the WNBA only been out since the 90s. Like, I remember when the WNBA first started coming on TV. WNBA first started coming mm-hmm. on TV. I think I was in like, was we was, was in was I in like middle school? I want to say it was like mid mid nineties and late nineties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I remember when I remember when the WNBA first started. You know what I mean? I remember mm-hmm. when WNBA first started. Um, and they and they you know you know the ad campaigns and all that and stuff like that. And um, like I said, yeah, I think that I think that does hurt them too. The time of the year that they play, because. If you playing in the winter time like everybody else, the winter months, that got that 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 gives people more of an opportunity to lock in because that's the time of the year where you just going outside to do whatever you got to do, go to work or whatever, go to school, and you're right back in the house. You know what I'm saying? You're not doing as much. You know what I mean? Because of the, because, mm-hmm. because because it's the winter months. But you trying to be out, you know what I mean? You 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 trying to like operate. You got your your, your, your days of operation, all that is, is it summertime, the summer months when people was out and about. They not really thinking of too much of just no game. They know what I mean? A lot of people enjoying their summer. So I think that also hurts them too. Like I said, basically. Yeah, that's tough. That's, yeah. that's tough though, man. That's tough because when they play in those, the town with college basketball, I mean, you already alluded that the women's college basketball is more popular. Mm-hmm. So people will probably want to go to see that. It said you're gonna go against NBA, you're gonna go against football. I mean, it's only only so much dollars that people could put their money out to for these sports. And I feel like that may that probably be hurt 
if they play during that time of year. They definitely get hurt during the summer. I understand what you're saying, but they, I, they might just be in a no-win situation because if you play during that time, I don't really see them getting that much action. There's so much sports going on in their fall, winter. I don't think they'll be able to uh, compete yeah. with all the other ones. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know what I mean? WNBA, they kind of, yeah. Yeah, they, they was like the last of the party, so they really ain't got no... They just got to get in where they fit in at this point. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I yeah. said, you know what I mean? I mean, I mean, either... These other sports got 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 decades ahead of them. You know what I'm saying? They got decades of being around and, and, and marketing and all this and that. Like I said, you know what I mean? Baseball been around for over 100 years, you know what I mean? And they've been trying to market that, you know, they the boys of summer and all that. And they've been trying to, they've been laying claim to that. You know what I'm saying? That they was the only little thing going on in the summertime other than when you got like the Olympics going on other than that. You know what I'm saying? Then at the same time, this year, you they're they going to compete with the Olympics too. Because the Olympics is this year. Yeah, they're taking a break though. They're they not gonna be um yeah. The once the Olympics start, they taking off like a month or whatever. See what I mean? You know what I mean? So that kind of so you know what I mean, so that kind of like stagnates them too. So now Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So 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 now the momentum or whatever that you had, the fanfare you had, you gotta cut that short. You know what I'm saying? You gotta cut yeah. you now you gotta cut that short for the Olympics. You know what I mean? So even if you so even even if now is a season where more people are watching you because of Caitlin Clark or Angel Reese, now not now I mean, you gotta you gotta push pause on that to go play in the Olympics. Because some of the players So you think they I'm sorry, you no, think uh, Clark should have been on Olympics? Um I don't know if it I don't know if it would have made a difference. I don't know if it would have made a difference because I mean, if people saying that she's not one of the best players, they trying to pick the best team. And if she is not the best, one of the best players at the position right now, she she's just the most popular. That don't know what I'm saying? If she so if they feel like she can't really, she's not a fit for the team, or she's not, or she's not better than the other people at her position, I understand why she didn't get picked. Because if you talking about you talking about international play, are you do you feel like putting her on the team is going to make international people want to watch the WBA? So, you know what I mean? If she if she go to the Olympics mm-hmm. and play in the Olympics, is that really going to matter if these international people don't watch the WBA anyway? You know what I'm saying? And then mm-hmm. and then you could probably got and, and, and then and you might have a few of these players that might go back and play for they're like native countries or whatever. And I'm saying I'm pretty sure it's some WNBA players who probably going to play for whatever country they're from. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. So, but at the end of the day, is that really going to help? If you, okay, we sending our most popular player. Um, then the rest of the, everybody else was like, no, we here to whoop ass. We don't care about her. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. We, we don't care about her because we don't watch the WNBA like that. So we don't so we don't care that you're sitting there over here. So then, you know what I mean? That's to them, that might be like, okay, that's one less person we gotta worry about because she may not even be ready. So now I mean she may not be up to par. She may not be the best best now. She's the best at a position. You feel like she's the best in the WNBA at that position and, and then fit and also fit with your team that you putting together. I get it. Mm-hmm. But you just saying we're gonna send her cause she popular. And at the end of the day. I, 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 and this is not to disrespect her, but as far as them other players, she might be a liability because she may not. You could have somebody on there that was better or, or fitted better. You know what I'm saying? So I'm mm-hmm. trusting that the people y'all picked is so y'all can have the best team possible. Now I mean, now you 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 understand what I'm saying? I understand business wise. Yeah. Like, yo, man, they should have put her on the team. Well, it's international play, and everybody out to get y'all. So. To me, I, I understand you feeling like, yo, I got to put the best team out there because these people out to get us. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Now I mean? You think these people cool with us coming in at every Olympics, us whooping them? No. Now what I mean? They going to be giving, they going to be giving us their best. So we got to put our, we feel like our best, our best team out there. And people feel like 
she's not ready yet or she's not one of the best players at her position that's going to fit in what, what we do, I understand that. I, I mean, I can't go there. I can't go over there worrying about, oh, this is our most popular player right now and everybody else sitting around thinking, we don't give a damn about that. This not the WNBA. This the Olympics. And we tired of losing to you. We don't give, right. we don't give a damn who y'all putting on this for. We trying to win because we tired of losing to y'all. So if everybody else, mm-hmm. if everybody else in the world that, that you got to play against is had, going, going, going with that mentality that we tired of losing to y'all. Why would you pick somebody based on pe- popularity and not if they're the best fit or best player at their position or best fit? You see what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, guy, yeah. So I agree. Yeah, because they probably like, like we don't give a damn. The rest of the world probably like, we don't give a damn. We tired of losing to y'all. Oh, okay. Is that is that Kate Caitlin Clark that we've been hearing about? <laughs> Next, <laughs> never mind. We y'all been blown. No, no, I mean, never mind. Y'all been whooping us for the last thirty years. No, they trying to win. I don't give a damn who. I, we they trying to win. So y'all better be trying to win too. So y'all better put be putting out here. Who, whoever y'all feel like give y'all the best chance to win. Because people, I, I guarantee you, them other countries is tired of losing to y'all. Yeah, for sure. Um, I think they made the right decision. I mean, basketball wise. She not ready, I don't think yet. I mean, I ain't gonna say that, but I think they got a, a good team. They ain't need her. Um, as far as popularity wise, if she was, let's say she was on the team and she wasn't getting no time like that, she was sitting on the bench. Everybody will be crying and bitching that she ain't playing. I mean, I'm just glad they left her off. I mean, I think the team they got now is good enough to, you know, smoke. The rest of these teams, countries, and Caitlin Clark, she'll have her time in the future. That next Olympics, I, you know, she won't be on it. So yeah, so but yeah, I just I just feel like if our, if our time comes to be on the Olympics, you know what I mean, it comes because it's supposed to. You know what I mean? I I, mm-hmm. personally, I personally don't feel like being worried about being worried about um, entertainment value to us when the rest of the world. Is trying to whoop us because we've been whooping them. You know what I mean? Y'all think? I mean, pe- people are thinking that the rest of the world cares about her because we want to see her and we care about her. N- no, mm-hmm. they no, they tired of getting their asses whooped. Now I mean, they right. coming to play. Right. So in turn, we got to put our best out there that you feel like is the best team. Now, if you feel like she's not a part of that, you know what I mean? I, I mean, I understand that. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. so I do. So, so I do. So I do understanding that. Feeling like, all right, we can't put the most just because they're the most popular people. We gotta put who we think that is is the best team together. Who be the best team? Just like remember when they did that when they had LeBron and all of them on the team just because everybody had a name and then they couldn't win because they really couldn't. They didn't fit oh, yeah. playing together. Yeah. So, that so was bad. yeah. So then, when they was trying to, so so then when they thought with it, when they realized it just wasn't gonna be no automatic win, they started benching people and putting them. In, and then people was like, "Why they got them on the bench? Why they got Carmelo Anthony put on the bench?" Because they realized that having everybody out there on the floor at the same time just not gonna work. So then the next Olympics, they said we have to put a team together, not just all the all stars and the most popular people we have. We have to put a team together. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's yeah. what they had to do. Right. They had to put the best team together. You know what I mean? Not the most popular. Everybody, even just because they're popular, the most, the best team. Because the rest of the world, I'm telling you, the rest of the world is tired of losing to us. They're tired of losing to us. You think they're going to give a damn? Oh, this is Clayton Clark? All right. Um, some, somebody, some, somebody give a forum to the mouth. Right. Unless they know when somebody <laughs> knocking somebody knocking upside her head, you know what I mean? You think she's taking a hard five files now. So imagine what they gonna do to her. Oh, this is the person that's supposed to be she the most popular player in the world. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, she gonna learn today. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, so I understand why they did that, man. But um anyway, I'm pretty much done with that the, the, the rest of the WNBA, man. You got anything else you wanna say about the WNBA? Uh, nah, I can't think of nothing. I mean, I I, I just been enjoying it, man. I got respect for these women, and um, they doing anything, and 
I mean, like you said, nothing in the summertime besides baseball. So I'll be needing something to watch. So I'm going to be watching. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I would like to say I would like to go to a game, but, you know, Philly don't got no WNBA team. I'd like to go to New York or something to see a game. But uh, I'm definitely a supporter, man. And uh, nah, I'll, I'll be watching the rest of the year. But, yeah, I'm done, though. I really got to say. Yeah, 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 man. Um, yeah, I don't know why we never got one. I don't know why we never got. Yeah, one. Yeah, I don't know. That means I think that you would think with the with 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 the fan base that we have, because man, we support everything we got. You know what I mean? Uh huh. You know what I mean? Feel Even like the soccer team. team. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, listen, man. People really do support. There's the Philadelphia Union, right? Philadelphia Union. Yeah, yeah. No, people support that soccer team. They really do support that soccer team. Yeah. They do. We support all sports. We show up. You know what I mean? People mm -hmm. show up. So, so you would think that, you know what I mean? It'd be a no brainer. I don't know if it just doesn't, I don't know financially or what. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why. But um, it would have made sense, you know what I mean, to make one. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I understand when it first. When it, when it when it first started, um, that they didn't have one, they didn't have that many teams. But I would think by now that they would have one. I don't know if they don't know where they would put an arena at or where they would play, or because I don't know. It's kind of like it's, it's kind of like congestion here because, you know what I mean, you got like you got like a Philadelphia got like a lot of it got like a lot of schools, a lot of colleges here, and then we're gonna put you gonna put their own arena. You know what I'm saying because. You might not be able to play in the Wells Fargo Center because there you know, may be a lot going on in the summer. You got concerts, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Stuff like that. You got so much stuff going on. How can you get like a steady schedule unless you had your own arena? I personally think that that's, that's what it might be. I think that, yo, we can't get an arena where they going to play mm -hmm. at. You know what I'm saying? Because the Wells Fargo Center is probably like too busy. You know what I mean? This time of year, it's probably too busy because you feel like, okay, now you got baseball games. You got baseball games on the same block that you gonna have WNBA games. You know, you know what I mean. St you know what I mean stuff like that. So. Yeah. And well, Fargo, you know, got concerts like you said and all that. They, they probably will have to go play down at Temple University or something like that, or maybe uh, Kane and God got in Reno across the across the river or something. I don't know, but that probably is one of the main issues, you know, as far as why we don't have no team. The whole logistics or where they where, where, where they play at, yeah. but I'm sure if they really want want a team, they'll figure that shit out. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But um. All right. And, and, okay. All right. So we're gonna jump from WNBA to NBA. You know what I mean? Um. Congratulations. You know what I mean? Everybody know from Boston. You know what I mean? New England area, man. Um. Shout out to y'all. You know what I mean? Y'all won. You know what I mean? I can't. I can't stand that because every time I see Jason Tatum play. I be thinking that the Sixers could have had him. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> that gets on my nerves, yeah. man. That gets on my nerves. Every time I see, watch him play, I'm like, yo, the Sixers really could have had him, man. You know what I'm saying? Wow. We, come on, man. You know what I mean? That gets <laughs> on my nerves, man. Every time I see him play, I'm like, yo, the Sixers really could have had him, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Oh, my God, man. That be, that, that, that be hurting my heart, man. You know what I mean? But uh, congratulations yeah. to them, man. I mean, they, man, they got it done, man. They got it done. People said that this was their year. You know what I mean? It was, this was their year for them. You know what I mean? If they didn't win it this year, that, you know, it wasn't worth investing no more in that team. Some people were saying that. Some people were saying that this was their year. They had to win it this year. You know what I mean? If they going to start becoming the, the, the dominant team, they have to win it this year. Yo, and they, they took care of business, man. So congratulations to them. Congratulations to everybody mm -hmm. that's from New England, the Boston, I mean Boston, New England, and all that, man. Now I mean y'all deserve it, man. Now I mean y'all, I mean they've been coming close the last few years, and then you know they made it happen. So congratulations to mm -hmm. y'all, man. Congratulations. I, I don't like Boston. I mean that that's all rival. So, but um, I was rooting against them, but they 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 had the best team all year. So all that talk, you know, people talking about that an easy road in the playoffs. I don't want to hear that because uh, all year they've been dominating, man. And they just did what they had to do, man. They beat whoever they played. 
wasn't somebody that was hurt. Like, you know, Nick's Bronson was hurt. Uh, Indiana, Halliburton got hurt and all that. I mean, hey, it just is what it is, man. You got to take care of business. And they just showed how good of a team they was. And it just showed me how far the Sixers are, you know, from reaching that level. Because, uh, I don't know, man, Boston just got a, a complete team, good, good bench. And Sixers, we just got two players, you know what I mean, and, and nothing else. So we got to learn how to build a team and put more players around and be the maxi so that we can get on that level. Because I'm just tired of us losing. We got a player like Embiid, and we just can't get past the second round. It's just very frustrating as a Sixers fan. And um, I just want us to get better because Boston, they're not going anywhere anytime soon. And the, like you said, we could have Tatum, but we got to get over that now, man. It's a shame, man. We could have had a few players, you know, but uh, we, we didn't pick right, draft right. And, you know, it's not an easy thing to draft, but we just got to, you know, work with what we got now. And we got a lot of cap space and just try to make it happen because the Sixers fans be feeding. We get tired. We got apathy kicking in. It's just the same shit every year, man. Losing mm-hmm. the first round, second round. People turn on him, be. <laughs> yeah, I mean, talking about they want to trade them, just getting tired of the annex, always getting hurt. I mean, he's this player of that caliber, you know, you should be happy that he's in his in his city, but I just see them turn on him this last few years and I, I understand why. But uh, we gotta take advantage of his talent before. Um, he leaves or he just get hurt every, you know, for like a career in the foot injury, like Bill Walton or some shit. Because, you know, these big motherfuckers as centers, you know, they, they careers don't last as long as these young, young um, smaller guards and all that. Mm-hmm. So we got to take advantage of this talent. Mm-hmm. And hopefully we will. Okay. Yeah, man. Um, I feel like our window is closing very, very, very fast. And I don't know what moves they can bust. They're going to have to bust a lot of moves real quick in the next couple of seasons. Cause I feel like if it don't, if it don't happen this, this season, next season, we done. Now I mean? This whole regime mm-hmm. is done. Now I mean? If you don't start making like full prog, I'm talking about really at least get to like Eastern, Co- East, Eastern conference finals. Now I mean? Next season. I personally feel like next mm-hmm. season. Now I mean? If you don't at least get to the Eastern conference finals next season, I mean, it ain't really, okay. it ain't really no point on, on, on don't continue not not me trying to build. Now I mean you might as well just go on and just I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Now, I mean there's a lot of people that know know way more, been studying way more about basketball, now I'm saying in the trades and all this is this and that. But to me, I just feel like now I mean the 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 window to me, I feel like the window is damn near closed. Cause because mm-hmm. I gotta make some moves quick because like you said, they not going nowhere. And then um you still you still got Milwaukee around. You know what I mean? So they trying to get their stuff together. So say they get their stuff together. Yeah. You know what I mean? So then you got to worry about them. You know what I mean? Because I'm pretty sure they trying to get their stuff together while they got them players up there. So yeah, you going to have some couple yeah. teams to get through to even try to get to the finals. It's not like before where, and this is my thing, we, we was always having trouble with Boston before, and they got even better. So I got to give it to that organization, man. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So... They was already tough and got even better. So right now our window was like, our window was still the window was still open, but the join is like is 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 damn near closed. You know what I mean? Because you you, you yeah. want you want to get through some people in the east. You know what I mean? You want to get you want to get through, like I said, Milwaukee's still around trying to. You know what I mean? They trying to get themselves together. If they get themselves together, then. I mean, I don't know what we're gonna do. Now, like I said, I don't know what we can do. I don't know move, move wise. Like I said, I don't. I don't really keep up on. Now, I mean, I don't. I don't. I'm not one of them people. Off the top of my head, can tell you, but they can trade for this. They can do these draft picks and all this and that. I don't know. Maybe they can do some uh-huh. finagling and stuff like that. Some willing and dealing. I don't know. You know what I mean? But yeah, man. I 
man, Boston got better, and I feel like Milwaukee going going to actually get, I mean, get it together. You know what I mean? So now if they get it together too, you know what I mean, I don't know. Well, I don't know what we have. They still got Doc, Doc Rivers, man. They still got Doc Rivers coaching them, so I ain't worried about Milwaukee. As long as Doc Rivers there, but they ain't gonna win shit. Ooh, man, that's crazy. Man. man, that's crazy. Um, <laughs> I don't know. As a Sixers fan, he let you. I mean, he ain't do nothing with us. Uh, Clippers, he ain't do it with the Clippers. He he did his thing with Boston, but I don't know. I don't see him. I see him losing. When it comes down to crunch time, less time in the playoffs, he don't uh, make the right moves. Or I don't know what it is, but his team always choke. So I don't see him helping Milwaukee get to the championship. As long as he's there, I ain't worried about them. Yeah, okay. All right, man. Um, like you said, man. You know what I mean? Got to give it to him. Congratulations to Boston, man. People said this is y'all year. You know what I mean? If y'all was going to, if y'all was going to show that y'all a premier team, you know what I'm saying? And y'all ain't nothing to play with that. This is y'all year to prove that. You know what I mean? They proved that, man. So congratulations. I got to congratulate him, man. Um, yeah. Yeah, man. But um, all right. Move on to some of the moves um, at the NFL. Um, Trevor Lawrence, he got, he got his extension. What that John was is it two is it two twenty five two seventy five twenty seventy five uh, yeah I don't know it was, um, like, it was like two hundred something million something like that ain't it you know what I mean yeah um it was something crazy yeah so crazy man so they so so they got his extension no you no know I mean so they um signed him um he's very 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 talented. But the franchise has to be. I feel like they they're not. I feel like they're not dedicated to winning. You see mm. what I'm saying? I feel like I feel like they're not dedicated to winning. I feel like it's one of them. All right, if they do, they do. They don't, they don't. Which, 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 which. This is just no no disrespect to the owner, but um, I forgot I forgot the name of the owner, but. His, uh, Khan or Sean, something yeah, like something that. like that. And this is, and this is what I think the problem is. Football is not his first love. Know what I mean, as far as sports, it's soccer. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So I don't think that that's so. Football is 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 his focal point. You know what I mean? I don't think that I I don't I don't think that the same dedication is there. Because he owns like a he owns like a soccer team too, right? Overseas, yeah. Dude got like right. bread, like 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 mega rich type of dude. Um. So that's why the Jaguars is always playing overseas and stuff like that. Because really, that's where you know he's from and all that. And you know, mm-hmm. soccer is his number one thing. So you 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 own a team, but. It's kind of like your number two, you know what I'm saying? So you getting mm-hmm. so so you kind of getting treated kind of like stepchild, you know what I mean? I feel like that because mm-hmm. now because you got Trevor Lawrence, which I Trevor Lawrence is very very it's very very talented, but the time it's like the it's like the team is like so to me the team just feel like it's two steps forward, one step back. So I don't know if. I don't know if that comes from if that starts with because I don't know how they franchise operates. I don't know if he's a hands-on person or he just don't care and he just I just own a football team and I just you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know if it's really an emphasis on winning or you know, I'm just I'm just very I'm just a very successful businessman and I just own a football team and I really ain't too concerned about what they do. You know what I'm saying? Cause that that'll leave you uh-huh. in purgatory, which I feel like that has them in purgatory. You know what I mean? I don't yeah. know. Cause I feel like if you have somebody who can be, potentially be one of the, the one of the best quarterbacks in the league, I just feel like y'all just not building around him. Y'all not building the rest of the team up fast enough. You mm-hmm. see what I mean? I just feel like it's just not it's not moving fast enough. It's not moving aggressive enough. Which, um. I heard people on ESPN say that it's like it's not no 
every, every, everything is moving faster now. So they want results in less time now. You know what I mean? Your window is not like, okay, we got this quarterback, so we work, so we good for the next 10 years. No, you got to start building around a quarterback within like five years or something like that, people saying. That's if you got a franchise quarterback. Because, you know what I mean? You got you to gotta win sooner than later. You know what I mean? And that's what I feel like. I feel like that that, that hurts them that you may have an owner that I don't know how much he cares about the franchise. If that's not his, if that franchise is not his main concern, and whatever soccer team he owns is his main concern, I feel like that may be a trickle down effect. Because you may not be on it the way you need to be on it. You may not have the people that you need to to win. Like you know what I'm saying? It'll be different if if I owned the team, because us winning would be the number one thing. You know what I mean? When I'm hiring my mm-hmm. general manager and they're going to pick the coach. All right, I, I picked y'all. So y'all, I'm trusting that y'all done forgot more about football than I know because I want to win. I would not be one of them type of people where I'm just happy to say I'm an owner. You see what I mean? No, no. Yeah. This team got to, I need this team to win. So do whatever y'all got to do to win. I mean, I'm not one of them people mm-hmm. that's going to be all over y'all back and I got to be in charge. No, I'm hiring the people that I trust know way more about football than me so we could turn this franchise into a winning franchise. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I'm just one of them. I mean, I'm one of them type of people that know I own it, but y'all running it. That's why I hired y'all. So do what y'all got, do what y'all got to do so we can win. I need to win. I wouldn't just be satisfied. Okay. We got some Jersey sales because Trevor Lawrence is, he's a popular player. So you're selling some jerseys and, you know, he has all the position in the world, but you're really, you're two steps forward, one step back. And then you th- he throws a bunch of touchdowns. Then the next game, he throws a couple of interceptions and he throws something like you got to just move forward. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's always two steps forward, mm-hmm. one step back with them. So I just feel like, man. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I've been going on and on, but well, that's just how I feel, man. We, we can relate, you know, uh, here in Philadelphia, the Sixers owner, Josh Harris, you know, he also owns the Washington Commanders, New Jersey Devils. So obviously, you know, with a football team, he's going to care about that the most. That's probably the one that bring in the most money. Mm-hmm. So he really doesn't care about the Sixers. That's, that's the thing that be saying and feeling like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Saying he doesn't care about it. So I understand definitely your point about that. And I do think he's um, looking at it as more of an investment, you know, that whole talk about moving that team to overseas or London or yeah, something like that. Yeah, 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 that I, right there. I, I, yeah. I, yeah, I think he definitely wants to do that. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, he definitely probably is looking at it as an investment, man. So that team will continue to be just, you know, um, in the middle of the pack, yeah, sort of say. But I do think that Trevor Lawrence, you know, he I looked it up, he got two hundred seventy five million. Um, uh, I think he has to play better though, man. It, if if you got a good quarterback, you know what I mean, you always in contention contention if you have like a top five quarterback and he was drafted number one, he was projected to be like a, you know, generational talent and all that. And I just don't think he was playing up to that level. Um Regardless of what's around because remember last year they had Calvin Ridley, you know what I mean? Whether they got money cheap or not, I mean, they, he had some weapons around him. He got the running back, um, ETN, he's a hell of a player. He got weapons around him, but he always turned the ball over so much, fumbling. He just, he has to step his game up, man. So the underachievement that they've been doing for the last two years, you know, I'll put up the feet of Lawrence. I think he has to play a lot better uh, for Jaguars to be a, a, like a Super Bowl contender. You know what I mean? I respect Doug Peterson. He's a winning coach. You know, he's an owner. You know, like Kyle kind of like Sixers got an owner. He, I think he's giving them the pieces that they do need or, you know, the confidence that they do need to 
to become a good team. They the six years hired Nick Nurse or the guy running the Rivers. You know, we could have hired some bum ass coach, but they got one of the top coaches out there, Nick Nurse. Jaguars, they got a top coach, Doug Peterson, Super Bowl coach. They could have just got any bum ass coach. Mm-hmm. So I do got to respect them for that. You know what I mean? Even if you did, it's just an investment or whatever. If they are just letting the football people do their thing, I mean, that's good too. You know what I mean? It, 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 he's just seen he wrote that big ass check for Lawrence. So at least he's, I mean, and you see Sixers write the big ass check for MB, and I'm sure they're going to write a big ass check for Maxi, vote one for Harris. So what, I mean, I, I get that they're not all in it, but at least they still, you know, not like treating them like a, a lower tier organization where um, they're not spending no money at all. Mm-hmm. And I can't, I can't think of like a, good comparison, but you know them organizations where they don't spend money to get bring in good players or keep players. Mm-hmm. So at least they doing that. Yeah you know I mean, but I definitely see them trying to go to London. I definitely see him, you know, looking at this team just, you know, for profit. And you gotta spend money to make money. So at least he's spending money. So I'll give him that. Okay. Yeah. Um yeah, that right. But Lawrence got to play better, though. I, I don't want to give take like, Lawrence off the hook. Yeah. He do got to play better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, He got to kind of cut down on in, in, them, them interceptions, man. Which, mm-hmm. see, when I pick him during fantasy football, man, that's the thing. The interceptions kind of, like, neutralize what you do because – all right, mm-hmm. if you you throw you throw three touchdowns, but you throw two interceptions, it's like it don't matter. It kind of like cancel. It, it just cancel that out that you threw two two touchdowns. So mm-hmm. that's why it's always like a super gamble picking him, picking him doing fantasy football. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because he yeah, because he one of them dudes I like to pick because he don't cost that much money. You know what I mean? He don't mm-hmm. he don't cost as money as everybody else. But the problem is, he be throwing him he be throwing them interceptions sometimes. You know what I'm saying? And um, and for y'all who play like um weekly fantasy football, you know what I mean? Who play a uh, weekly fantasy football like like I do, man? I don't I don't I don't always go with the the quarterback. I know everybody else gonna pick. Everybody quick to pick Lamar Jackson. You know what I mean? Everybody want to pick mm-hmm. you know Lamar Jackson, Mahomes. Man, the key mm-hmm. the, the key to actually winning is trying to pick some people you know everybody else would not pick and them having good games. You know what I mean? So that's why I always I don't I don't necessarily I don't necessarily always pick the person that everybody else picks. You know what I'm saying? Everybody basically picking the same people. I don't. You know what I mean, I like to pick different quarterbacks. Um, for y'all, uh-huh. you know I mean? that that's why sometimes I like to pick I like to pick Trevor Lawrence. Sometimes I like to pick um. Um, Baker Mayfield be getting you some points sometimes. Baker Mayfield do. Um, mm-hmm. Who else? What's another one that, that that be getting you some points sometime? Um, I see you ain't say that Prescott. <laughs> no, 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 no. Him too. I pick him. No, no, trust me. I pick him too. I'll be picking him. Him, him and C.D. Lamb. Well, the year before. Okay. Last year, I don't know what the hell happened with them Last season, but usually that was always a combination that got you points. Him, oh, okay. Him and C.D. Lamb, or him and I forgot the name of uh, the the tight end that y'all got on y'all on y'all team. That he always catch a touchdown um, every now and again. You now I'm saying he yeah, catch first and this year. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I used to like to pick him for for a tight end because you know everybody always going 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 run and pick T.K. I don't necessarily like picking TK all the time. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. TK is Travis Kelsey for all y'all don't know. I call him TK. Because <laughs> um, everybody's yeah, going to... Swi- the Swifties swi- swi- don't like their initials. Yeah, because... Yeah, because they're, most people always pick Kelsey or um, Andrews from Baltimore. Which I understand picking mm-hmm. Andrews because Lamar Jackson love him. Love, love throwing the ball to him. But um, mm-hmm. yeah, I always kind of pick. I kind of like tweak my my lineup a little bit. I don't automatically pick everybody that you think I'm going to pick. I'll tell you who used to be who who was coming up fast was it C.J. Stroud and Tank Dell. You know what I mean? 
Yeah. They, they was a good combination to pick because they didn't cost a bunch because they didn't cost a lot of money. Now I don't know how it's going in this year. Cause you know, once people do good and all that, they up them, they up the price. You know what I mean? They was always yeah. a good, they was always a good tandem to pick. You know what I mean? They both didn't cost no a lot of money. But yeah, yeah, I always went with, you know what I mean? Dak and CD Lamb was always a good, was it was 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 a good combination that I like to pick. And um Trevor Lawrence and um what's my man that was a wide receiver down there? Um he used to be Not uh, really, really. really? Yeah, yeah, oh, him, him, you know what I mean? Him and Ridley was doing all right. Um, they was doing okay. But um, Trevor Lawrence, was, he, he just always picked, he was always throwing interceptions. So, like, all right, you threw touchdowns, but you also threw interceptions. So, that kind of just, like, negated your touchdowns, you know what I mean? So, that's why he was yeah. always, he always been, like, a super-duper risk, man. But um, if he have good days, man, he might throw two touchdowns. I mean, he might throw three touchdowns. He'd be like, all right. You know what I mean? So, I mean, for y'all, for y'all that that do the weekly, you know, um, fantasy football, then I mean, those are some people that I used to pick that that I, that I do pick that don't cost a whole bunch of money. Because the first people that they pick, everybody's going to pick. Whenever Lamar Jackson played, they pick Lamar Jackson. Whenever Mahomes played, they pick Mahomes. And you know, you got to kind of well, switch it up a little bit. You know what I mean? Um, what about Hurts? Her, her, he had to have a lot of money. Expensive. Oh, yeah, yeah, but just push it. yeah, yeah, but see, but see, to me, I I think that you wasn't. I don't now. I don't want to. I'm not making no accusations, but it seemed like once we started doing that a lot, and that's how he started getting some touchdowns. You just wasn't getting the same amount of points for that as him throwing. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Because once you started doing that, I mean. That was kind of like guaranteed, but he was getting like rushing touchdowns. So it wasn't, you know what I mean? And then it's like he kind of like, he wasn't getting as many throwing touchdowns as he did before. The touch push, once you get down there, it was either the running back. Mm-hmm. It was either running back. That's why I kind of like Swift because right now, it went from like Swift getting the ball down there to the touch push down. Well, I don't like calling I call it the brother to shove. And they, they, they brother <laughs> shoving you to death down there. And then you wasn't really getting the, he wasn't really getting the passing touchdowns, kind of like when 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 AJ Brown first got on its on on the squad, where it was like, yo, you know what I mean, uh-huh. if you pick Hurts, you got to pick AJ Brown to pair him up. You know what I mean, doing fantasy football. Now it's, it's more like the Beverly shove, which I see, which I'm gonna see how that works. Now I'm saying this year, now I mean if they still can do that because I feel like the keystone of that was um was Jason Kelsey. I feel like he was the keystone of why that was like. 99.9% unstoppable. It was him. You now I mean it was his time and his size and all that. I feel like he was the key yeah. to that. So I don't I don't I don't I don't know if that's gonna be as effective. Because to me, I felt like he was the keystone of that. He was why that was like damn near unstoppable for us. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So 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 we'll see if he can start doing that now. Now if they if they can keep right on doing it, I understand. But if they keep if they start trying to do that and then it don't work no more. Now I mean, you gotta kind of get off that. You know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. so I hope they already got a contingency plan that if that don't work, they can switch up. Because if you just relying on that, because to me, like, like I said, I ain't in the locker room and I'm not, I'm not put, a, I'm not part of an organization. Now I mean, I don't know why it worked. To me, from what I see, I always thought Jason Kelsey was the keystone of that and why that play worked so well. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So if you can't do it, and there's a reason why everybody could not duplicate it. You know what I mean? People really could not duplicate it the way we could do it. And I feel like it was because mm-hmm. of Jason Kelsey's timing and all that and his size and all that. So so we'll see, man. You know what I mean? We'll see. Um, Yeah, yeah. Hurts was a good pick. My thing was I always like to pair him up with a wide receiver, and I couldn't tell sometimes. It was like A.J. Brown couldn't the ball sometimes. And then sometimes you pick Devontae Smith, and he didn't really get the ball too much. It was more of just a bunch of running, and you don't really get the same points. He's scoring, but he's scoring rushing touchdowns. You hurt scoring rushing touchdowns. You ain't getting as many points as a passing touchdown. That's why I was like, you. I mean, you picking, but I mean, when you to to me, when I pick, when I pick a a, a quarterback, I want to at least, I want to at least pair him up with with a wide receiver. I want to pair him up with their own wide receiver, unless I get. Mm-hmm. Unless I get somebody that throw the ball all over the place like 
all right, don't don't tell your dress, okay, Mahomes. So you pick Mahomes, you might as well pick Travis Kelsey. You know what I mean? You really didn't mm-hmm. pick no wide receiver. You know what I mean? You might have picked him and Travis Kelsey. Because mm-hmm. anybody else, he'd be throwing it, he'd be out there throwing it to me. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know, yeah. he, like, like, yo, you don't even know the wide receivers on the team. I mean, no disrespect, but you know what I'm saying? He, he, he threw the ball all over the place, but you already knew Travis Kelsey, though. You know what I mean? That was kind of like yeah. how, like, when you picked when Aaron Rodgers was on when Aaron Rodgers was on the Packers. All right, you would pick Aaron Rodgers, but what wide receiver you gonna necessarily pick before they got Devontae Adams? Then when they got Devontae Adams, all right, you paired them together. But before that, he used to get a run of points, but you but I never picked no wide receiver to pair him up with because he just threw the ball all over the place. He threw the ball to people that uh-huh. you didn't even know was on the team. Before they got Devontae Adams, yeah. then when they got Devontae Adams, then you paired him up with Devontae Adams. But before, whenever you pick Aaron Rodgers, you just pick Aaron Rodgers. You ain't pick nobody else on the yeah. team. I'm like, I don't even know who he's gonna be throwing the ball to. I don't, I don't know who he's gonna be throwing the ball to. You know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. so Hertz was kind of like, the, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. Who he's, so that's how it was. Whenever I picked the Packers before Devontae Adams came around, then when Devontae Adams came around, then you could pair them up together. You know what I mean? Devontae Adams was a beast, man. He was a hell of a rock runner, man. Him, yeah. Um, man, Still before, is. Yeah, yeah, man. Um. Him and um, Antonio Brown, man. Antonio Brown was like, he was like, he's like a wide receiver, but he could like run and cut like Barry Sanders. Like the way, like when they show him like on film, like running the routes, he could like stop mm-hmm. and cut and all that, man. Yo, he was, he was special, yeah, nasty. man. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, man. He was special, man. Have you been keeping up with him? He got that um whole... uh. C-T-E-S-P-N campaign? Yeah. C-T-E-S-P-N campaign. He a wild ball. He a wild ball, man. He a whole back on social media. Coming at Shannon Sharp, Clayton Clark. I'm like his two favorite people to come at, it seems like. But, yeah, he's wild on there, man. I mean, I'm really not that big a fan of of that stuff he be doing on social media. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, some of the stuff do be funny, though. I ain't gonna lie. Mm. Okay. Yeah, man. So, um, yeah, man. Shout out to them, man. Like I said, man, it'll be football season for you know it. Now, I mean, we going, yeah. um, we going to um, try to try to get some more stuff to you. You know what I'm saying? We going to try to go. Like I said, now I mean, we not full time content creators, so we we not able to do all the stuff we want to do all at the same time and all that. So we kind of like, kind of like grow, we kind of grow and expand and do more and more and more, but, um, we going to get to it for y'all, man. Um, um, anything you want to say before we get about it? Uh, nah, man, just, uh, continue doing what you're doing, man. Um, uh, successful comment that I mean, success I already had, but I mean, it's just further things and bigger things in your future. Um, just keep doing you and Aaron, keep doing what y'all doing, man. Proud of y'all. And like you said, football season be here before you know it, man. All right. Yeah, man. Um, thank y'all for all the love and support. Like I said, please like, rate, review, um, subscribe. Like I said, everything starts with the Earning Night Soul Show. Shout out to y'all for um the um support Night Soul versus the world. Like I said, you know what I mean, you know what I mean the Patreon is up. You know what I mean? So so if y'all wanna go um support you know what I mean I would appreciate it um me kind of like doing my own little thing on the side you know what I mean just just to kind of like give more context and like I said it's, it's some different stuff I want to do you know what I mean some stuff I want to do here you know what I'm saying with it, not, not I mean with with with, it, with the expansion team you know what I mean I want to do a call in show with this too not just a call in show ISO versus the world I want to do a call in show here too you know what I mean so we can start calling and taking calls and talking to people and stuff like that so now, I'm not working on that so we can uh-huh. get that done so we can let the people know when we're going to record and that way people can call in and actually talk to us. You know what I mean? So people got questions for me, questions for you. You know what I mean? So we can make it more interactive. You know what I'm saying? And just make it for, and, 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 just, and just take it to the next level. So so that's what we're working on right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get that done so we can actually say, all right, cut some time out. You know what I mean? Is, I mean, hopefully get get the timing together where we can tell the people, all right, this is the time that we're going to do it, and this is the time that y'all can call in. You know what I mean? So we can actually sit and talk mm-hmm. to people. I mean, get 
get this joint more interactive. But you know, thank y'all for the love and support, man. Like I said, man, um, the audio, not me, our podcast audio has always been doing great, not me, since we started. And we appreciate the audio listeners and now the YouTube listeners, man. Um, cause now we 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 are doing great on YouTube too. But you know, man, thank y'all, man. Just thank y'all for the love and support, man. And just Bro, thank you for not I mean checking in again, not I mean, and and just and just doing another episode with me because you know the people been people been asking for it. Now I mean, you gave him a little, now I mean, you gave him a little, a little of the gambling. Now I'm saying with the WNBA, you know what I'm saying now they gonna be they, they gonna be they gonna want to know. No man, give us the whole rundown in NBA game, WNBA games, man. So um, <laughs> now I mean, give y'all a little yeah. something. Now I mean to help y'all. Now I mean out there. Now I mean y'all betting people out there. Now I mean as far as the WNBA, but um. I said, man, thank y'all for the love and support, man. And we out of here, man. All right, bro, man. I'll be talking to you later, bro. Appreciate you. All right, man. Be safe. All right, too. If you really trying to grow, you got to make the right decision. Because the world is yours. You got to. You got to get it. No love. 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 No love.